Uh, well, I've been in property for about 20 years because I'm a chartered surveyor, but even doing that, I was doing a job. Uh, so I was, uh, I suppose you could say, just overbroke. Mm. That's what it's all about. Um, the pensions also, well, I was uh, putting into that, but it didn't look like it was uh, growing very much. So mm. I put my head down to uh, find out what was really going to make some money, mm -hmm. and I decided that we could boost the pensions at that stage by buying properties and renting them out. Uh, it was only later on that I then realised actually uh, we could do more than just use it for pensions, uh, we could uh, do it for our daily living, mm -hmm. so it kind of grew from there. Well most of the property that I dealt with uh, was commercial, so rather than residential, so I didn't really have much of an understanding, but I decided I suppose it was over 15 years ago now that that was when we were going to actually start investing in uh, residential property. So we bought a few um, at market value mm. and uh, found out the mistakes uh, that one does. Um, and gradually, obviously, we've bought uh, 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 better and better over the years. Um, there wasn't really a conflict. Uh, the commercial property is dealt with on many ways differently from residential. Uh, it can be simpler, it can be more complicated, it depends on the individual property itself. Okay, so uh, we've now got uh, 10 properties and uh, that gives a net cash flow of about £1,200 uh, a month. Uh, I, I'm also now not in a job. I set up a consultancy in November 2011 and I now package deals for other investors as well. Um, I guess that would uh, bring in about four or five thousand a month at the moment. So that's all right, that's, that's pretty good. I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, I, I now have a new business partner um, who is an accountant. So uh, he's uh, very like Mark, uh, which is great uh, because uh, I'm, I'm the Rob to his Mark, if you like. Uh, so we work really well together and uh, it means that I can be very sure that numbers are done uh, uh, you know, really, really soundly. We're now concentrating on the larger projects, so we're buying larger properties, whether that's residential or commercial now, and turning them into flats and HMOs. And we're getting uh, quite a lot of investment in that from investors who are going to lend us money or take an, an equity stake in, in the projects that we do. Okay, so my goal this year is to raise about a million pounds of uh, JV Finance. Currently, we've got about 350 to 400,000 of that. So, you know, it's February. Um, uh, by the end of the year, I expect to beat uh, my goal by the end of the year. We get the JV partners on board and we say, uh, uh, we make a point of saying we do not want your money until we absolutely need it. And we take them through the whole process of... Uh, uh, how we deal with it through solicitors. So we never see that money, it's always in a safe bank account sure. somewhere. There is always money out there. I spend a lot of time going out to network meetings, both property and business meetings, um, and just talking uh, to people about what I do and getting people interested in it. People are always interested in investing in property. Um, and I always ask the questions about, do people know who wants to sell houses? Do people know anybody who wants to invest in property? Uh, do people know anybody who uh, has money that they want to get a better rate of interest than they're getting in the bank? And develop the conversations along those lines. And there's lots of money coming out now. How important is getting yourself educated in being in a property investor? I would say it's very important. Um, and the reason for that is you can spend a lot of time online and find out uh, what you need to know, but it will take you years. Um, and OK, we're not in a get-rich-quick game here, but actually you can uh, speed up your education, you can speed up the acquisition of knowledge, and therefore you can speed up the time scale uh, within which you can start making a relatively good amount of money through property investment. <laughs> Um, it's an absolute no-brainer. It's always a good return. Uh, over the last two or three years, I've probably spent, uh, well, mm, I was going to say 15, but it's probably nearer 20,000 now. Uh, I've made that back easily with the you know, equity that I've made in properties, with the, the deal packaging that I'm now making. Um, 
you know, I always provide uh, an amount of money every year now to to f to put towards my education because I know that I will gain every single year. So if I were talking to someone specifically, I would say that you need to invest in uh, your self. It, it's as simple as that. Invest in your own education so that you can gain the benefit it, of it um, four, five, ten times over. The number of deals that I've done uh, have by far in excess paid for my education and you can benefit from that too. Mm -hmm. well, it's fantastic working for myself. The, f the, the flexibility is just brilliant. Be being able to go out and see my son's uh, hockey and rugby matches, you know, uh, having the flexibility to uh, go out you know, at a moment's notice. Um, if, I, if I need to go out during the day, I just put a, you know, an extra hour on at the end of the day or in the evening or something like that. It, it just all works around. It's a lot easier. Um, and yeah, it's good. I'm not a millionaire yet, but I am on the path to, to becoming a millionaire. And, um, and I'm also looking at some uh, social enterprise business as well, where I'll be able to make some money, but also be able to put something back into uh, the local economy and the, you know, the local social scene as well. Sure. So it's great. Mm. It's great. Well, I thought I'd had a few challenges, but um, raising money, for instance, you know, everybody says, oh, it's really difficult to get hold of money. But... Um, I raised 50 grand on Facebook the week before Christmas and actually it would just happen to be a sort of a, a chance conversation as it were with somebody um, and within a couple of weeks it was all sorted so you know that could have been a challenge but it's because I was already looking for that that the challenges are half um, dealt with already um, yes I've got some challenges with some of the larger properties that I'm dealing with we've got some commercial tenants who actually don't want to move out of a property that's being sold as a chartered surveyor, I can come in and advise on the lease terms, etc., etc. Um, a challenge is an opportunity. It's it's never a problem. So it's always how can we help people to do better in the end? And and so it's always an opportunity. I don't see them as problems.